In him, in Jesus, also you were circumcised with a circumcision made without hands by putting off the body of flesh by the circumcision of Christ. So I'm going to introduce a big idea of Christianity here. And that is that when we are born, we are born with a sin nature. Sometimes referred to as the flesh. Uh, and you might ask, if you haven't been around Christian circles or, or maybe you're new to the faith or maybe you've been in there a long time, you might say, what is sin nature? Simple explanation just means that by virtue of being human, by being born, our inclination, our nature, the way we act is to rebel against God and to sin. That is what we are born and do. And you may ask, even when I'm little, even when I'm a baby, and yes, even then, our first parents, Adam and Eve, rebelled against God, and everybody since then, every, everybody has inherited that tendency towards sin. Now, an example of this for me, when I think about it, is I've been a parent for about 12 years now. My son's back there doing the little slide things. And I remember when Robbie was two, we're standing in the kitchen, I'm cooking something, stove's hot, he reaches out his little hand, I pull it back, say no. And he doesn't know I'm sharing this with you. And so he turns and he looks at me, just like this, straight in the face, pop. And I never said, hey, if I tell you to do something, look me in the face and do the opposite. And nobody had to teach him how to sin. Nobody has to teach us how to sin. We just inherited it. It's kind of like I inherited blue eyes from my parents and also inherited my sin nature from them. But, and here's the good part where we go back to Jesus, when we put our faith in Jesus, he separates us from our nature, from our old selves. And that's what Paul's talking about here with circumcision. Um, he uses this picture of circumcision. He's talking to um, a bunch of Jewish people that understand this concept. And where circumcision is a cutting away of foreskin from the penis, he uses that and says, here's this extreme example. Your flesh is being cut away. Your nature, old nature is being cut away by Jesus. When we put our faith in Jesus, he cuts away that old self. We're still sinners, but as we grow in our knowledge and relationship with Jesus, that old nature fades away. And we become more like Jesus. And, and, and that's a big concept, sin, but the good news being that that is cut away in our faith in Jesus.